Hello, in this video I would like to show you a how to upgrade this 10.4-inch uh, LCD screen from its original LED strip to our SB series LED kits. So the reason we're using XB because it's much thinner, if you can see, and uh, this is UB, UB is much thicker. It's not going to fit for the newer screens. So we use SB and then it's much brighter. This LED kit comes with one LED strips, one uh, uh, six pin wire harness, uh, pigtails, and one drivers. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen. This is a 10.4 inch screen, it's made by Sharp. The part number is LQ104V1 LG81. LQ104V1 LG81. The problem with this, this one have already built in LED strips. This is the connectors. Now, this kind of LED this type of LED uh, uh, connectors. So basically, uh, it has a driver. You just apply 12 volts and uh, and enable voltage. This is screen. This is uh, for the the digital signal input. Uh, we're using DF14 connectors, just like this. Okay. So the problem for this screen is no backlighting. So that's one of the reasons that we upgrade to LED, our LEDs. So let's take a look at this, unscrew this cover first. Okay, this screen has a 640 by 480 resolutions. There are three screws, okay. Three screws, one, two, three, okay. So this is it. I want to show it to you, this one. It's the input. This one is actually the LED. This is the LED drivers right here. So this is the LED chips. So what happens that you apply 12 volt, this one output the 24 volt to drive this LED chips. This this circuit is not working. I think that could be the chip. I just couldn't believe it. I bought another one same problem not the same seller but i bought this one from overseas this one from uh, ebay they both the plastic uh, sellers they both have the exactly the same problem so the LED driver has issues so the only way to get around would be i mean you know it's just upgrade to our LED strips and uh, we're gonna mount the driver here i'm gonna show you later okay first thing first let's remove the old LED strips. So this one is really simple. You just grab the wire, just pull it, just pull it out. Okay. So in order to do that, let me try peel off this one, see if it slides out or not. But this first time, maybe okay. So we try to take this one out first. If we could uh, just peel off the tip. Okay. You can use yes, we just remove the tip and put the LED, uh, uh, the ribbon wires. There's no screw on each side. So I will assume in that you just push this one out. So you take it out, right? So, and to, to install LED is really simple, really, really simple. You don't need to peel off this double side tape because you, you just simply exactly fit, you see? So in, inside. See that perfectly fit. So after that, you just add a piece of tape. Okay, and then secure this wire. The way we mount it would be like this. Okay, this is gonna be well. You can connect to either end. You're gonna mount it right there. This free wire is we're gonna start right here. So let me just show you really quick. So this is the input, this is fuse, the input chow box. This is the ground. And this one, number five, this one is actually enabled. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stick here and solder out the wire here and secure these wires. I'm gonna show you in the next video. So I just add a piece of tape here. We're gonna plan in to mount it right this. Okay. So let me 
before you mount exactly the location you want to try to put this cover see if anyway perfect so it's good so we mount it exactly aligned with this one okay so clean it up peel off this double side tip okay Okay. Then you mount like this exactly. Okay, we're gonna secure these wires. Let me see. It's gonna be yeah. Okay, one more. Perfect. So test again. Perfect. So now I'm gonna solder the wire to input one enable. Then I will show you in the pictures. Hello, I just finished the soldering. I want to show it to you a little bit closer. You can see it so this one actually it's a uh, input voltage supply voltage with the VIN this one's Guang pin 5 and 6 on this connectors this is yellow is enable on pin 3 of this so it's quite simple um, now if you want to you can add a piece of what uh, uh, I mean uh, tip to, to secure this but you know there's no need to do that now you just put it back make sure everything's good put the screw back done so you can use the same connector here you know the original connector same everything's the same but now it's sunlight readable this upgraded to SP for this particular model for this model depends on the condition anyway between 7 to about 1000 nits depends on conditions with the screens if a brand new screen it's probably a little bit more than 1000 but if you want to reach that you have to disassemble the whole thing make sure this one mount it all the way to up because right now we just show you a very simple movement. Just stick it out, pull out, stick it in. So if you want to mount it perfect to get a maximum mount from Binance, you have to disassemble the whole thing, and the LED strip can stick to here, just right next to uh, touching the proxy glass. Then you probably get about thousand nits. Okay, thank you for watching.